First at noon, final report released. We're getting our first look at the final report from the deadly boating accident involving South Florida radio celebrity DJ Laz, revealing two big details. This is a CBS 4 News exclusive report. The report shows that in addition to more than a dozen bottles of alcohol, drug residue was found on DJ Laz's boat. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya is live in the newsroom with what she's learned. Natalia. Well, this lengthy FWC report shows that officers found a ripped up dollar bill containing cocaine residue on DJ Laz's boat. The report also reveals the man who was killed by the boat's propellers, Ernesto Hernandez, was intoxicated at the time of the accident. They were so small, investigators didn't see them until the day after the accident. Ripped up pieces of a dollar bill containing a white residue, which tested positive for cocaine. Florida Fish and Wildlife investigators say they found the evidence on DJ Laz's boat as they did an inventory of everything on board. They were investigating the death of Ernesto Hernandez, who was killed by Laz's boat propellers while he helped to try to get the South Florida radio celebrity off of the Nixon Beach sandbar with several other men. CBS 4 News has also Obtained the audio recording of investigators reading DJ Laz his rights, whose real name is Lazaro Mendez, before questioning him about the accident a few hours after it happened. Mendez declined to cooperate. With these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to us now? No. No. You gonna wait for your attorney? Yes, sir. Uh, do you have your attorney's name? Leslie Siegel. Leslie Siegel. Okay. Uh, interview will uh, conclude once. Uh, Mr. Mendez has consulted with his attorney. Uh, this will conclude this statement. The report shows investigators could not forcibly question or draw blood from Mendez because he showed no signs of alcohol intoxication, though FWC says they are not trained to spot signs of drug impairment. They did, however, run toxicology tests on the victim, Hernandez, which showed his blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. He tested negative for any drug use. My life is Troy, my daughters, my whole family. We don't have a life anymore. There's no life anymore. Nothing to be happy because we're missing Ernesto. The Hernandez family has filed a lawsuit against Mendez, accusing him of not giving Hernandez warning before he fired up his powerful boat engines. Mendez maintains he shouted a warning to back away from the propellers. He has previously spoken about his sorrow for the accident. At the end of the day, it is the worst possible thing that could ever happen. That's why my, my, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dad. Sure. I'm a brother. And my heart absolutely goes out to the family. Investigators did not charge Mendez, but gave him a civil boating citation. We reached out to attorneys for both Mendez and the Hernandez family for comment on the final report. We've not yet heard back. We'll have more for you later today. Natal Gazea, CBS 4 News.